The disturbing reality of Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve has been exposed. We have O.J. Simpson what? finally ready to find out who actually killed her. And some of the deepest altcoin cuts of the basement so far. All this and more on today's blockchain basement. We are the bread and butter of all the information that's been swimming across the internet for crypto news. Um, if you're going to screw me, at least pull my hair. Yeah. Hell yeah. What do you got? Oh, hey. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. They could start chopping off fingers. They're yeah. like, give me your seed phrase, but that's, yeah. I don't know it. Over two years, he's made like 17K on I'm Roblox. Yeah. What? Like 12. Yeah. You never listen to me, and we must be married. Yeah, well, how much are you investing? $100. four to 600000 The think generational so signals are now. Do you now. Think so? You're spread so thin, that's how you get in on Snake. Snake's been okay. my biggest winner. Yes. Here we are. Oh, here hi. we are. Look at uh, we got a uh, Morel. Morel we'll talked a wild, him out of uh, a wild Morel has appeared. Yeah, he's been coming up to me just over the last like few weeks. He's feeling <laughs> extra bullish on Telegram and Tuncoin. Tuncoin, yes. Yeah. So wow. um, obviously, there's been some price movement. I'm open to hearing about why you're bullish about Telegram, Tuncoin. I use Telegram often. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm interested in your thoughts today. We have the Nictator. Hi. Um, we got some really big things we're planning with the Nictator. Pretty yes. much going to break the internet. It's going to break the internet. There's we're going to break the internet in multiple people, ways. Yeah, the, things are going to happen. Yeah, things are going to happen. It's going to be yeah. huge. Um, and Hannah, on the side desk with the sandwich, you're bringing, what is that, a turkey sandwich or something like that? Ham. Ham? Yep. Ham. Fair enough. Yep. Fair enough. I'm messy. You are you are indeed a messy messy. Uh, we have BJ is going to be joining you there. He might sit on your sandwich. BJ. Yeah, wow. Well, stuck in like, wow. traffic. Yeah, always stuck in traffic. It's you're stuck in traffic. <laughs> hey is, BJ, uh, you Welcome. get stuck in traffic when you don't uh, leave on time. Mm. Yeah, and mm. then we've got Owen, uh, very crabby oh. today. Owen, yeah. Owen, Owen, he's uh, he's menstruating. <laughs> Can we get a proof of life from uh, Owen? No proof of life Owen from refuses. <laughs> The back sass? Like the, oh my oh god. god. Back sass? Oh what is he can't that? even hear him. Yeah, he hates himself. He can't even hear him defending back himself. Like, just because you're a straight white man does not yeah. mean you have to mute yourself. Hey, ask okay? him about his you're, back sass. You are heard. We see you, Owen. Uh, shout out to uh, Battling Billy. He just became Welcome a to the OG me. status. OG status. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, memberships for the basement YouTube bring you down to where all the deep DJ and action is happening in the blockchain basement discord 
Some, uh, you know, people have been asking me about what's the squeeze, oh, what's wow. Solana. Hey, what a G. What a G. A lot Bounded. of new names. I love seeing all new names. We got Shake and Bake, uh, Battle and Billy. Oh, two and pump. And more. It's Yo, Look at two how many. pump and Battle and Billy with oh, the five gifts. Thank two you. Two pump, I sent you a friend request on Discord. Speaking of Discord and getting yeah. that inside info from me on what I'm doing on Link the sneaky in snakes. description. Sneaky snakes. Um, I sent you a friend request. Accept the friend request, then I can message you yeah. the dirty deets. Yes. Um, uh, let me talk about membership real quick for yeah, you yeah. on the stories, guys. Do you want to become a membi of the basement? Because we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. So not only do you get all the custom emojis here. We're going to start doing some other exclusive stuff, YouTube content. It's only five bucks a month. It's not, stuff, guys. It's not much. It's, it's not that much. You're DCAing into the basement, but yeah. then you link your Discord to your YouTube account, and then you get into the OG chat, which is an extremely, extremely exclusive chat with extremely exclusive people mm. in the basement. But once you get in on that level, we're going to have another level coming which is where you get even deeper into the basement. Mm -hmm. And we're, go, we're gonna go deep into a lot of nitty gritty details, a lot of uh, self-sovereignty stuff, a lot of uh, home defense stuff. So you wanna get in early because that other membership tier it's going to be a little pricey. So yeah. we're going to give all the OGs a discount code for that. So, yeah. yeah, you definitely want to get in there. That's how you get in. Yeah, we're, uh, we got a lot of stuff we're building out. You know, I just, yeah. I'm in this situation where I'm trying to get us mentally and financially prepared for another summer of love that burns city centers down. Oh my God. Oh, and I'll turn on the air conditioner. He's going like this. <laughs> I wish, I wish people diva. could see this. I mean, you're so Show good yourself. with knives. You're so based as a young man. You're over there fanning yourself. He's fanning uh, himself. Oh what is happening? Gosh. What is happening? Is he even having hot flashes? Are you I'm not hot. Right I mean, I am hot, but I'm not hot down here. No, this okay. is... Her, Sorry, this guys. Is fine, it's now. my fault. It's your yeah. fault? Hannah's I bringing the heat. I can leave. Yeah, No, you're not leaving. Hey, guys, plus, one in the chat, plus one in the chat if you want Hannah to leave. Oh, no, no, no. God. Let's You're gonna get a bunch of negative ones. All, <laughs> honestly, I, you chased off Meanless after he nearly won the election to become a mod. Oh no, uh, Meanless got Giga banned. Giga banned? Yeah, he got permanently banned. <laughs> what? Because he said some inflammatory stuff in chat. So I permanently. Did he really? Yeah, yeah. He said DZ stole BitBoy's channel. Oh and my god! He kept on gosh. saying that over and over and over no. again. I was like, "All right, man, you've you've stepped Bro. on the meanless. What the hell? What? Come back! Why would you be yeah, saying? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that's gross." <laughs> Well, Dumbass. some good things I saw in the world today, just to get it kicked off. OJ is dead. And uh, oh my dead. gosh, that thing is busted again. We need to fix this thing. Guys, every every day here in the every basement, day, something breaks because it's it's humid. I was going to say humid. Owen gets mad. There it is. And he breaks things on purpose. But okay, we're, we're, we're back he, now. The two pump chump thought I was a, a scam bot on yeah. except Okay, I'm going to have to resend you one, two pump. That was actually me. <laughs> Thank you for the $10 <laughs> super chat. Um, let's check this out, guys. Just to walk down uh, memory lane here. Good times for anyone in my generation. Money that athletes are being paid today. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to interrupt this call. I understand we, we're going to go to a live picture in Los Angeles. Uh, is that correct? Okay, this is Interstate 5, and this is courtesy of KCALR, one of our L.A. affiliates. Mm. Police believe so that, that O.J. Simpson is in that car. Okay, police believe he is in that vehicle. <laughs> Let's pick up what the uh, the KCAL broadcaster is saying. Oh, oh my God. God. Just such a memory lane this brings me down. <laughs> um, OJ has a slew of different charges he experienced in his life. Uh, very contentious individual indeed. And then, you know, right as all this is happening, uh, here's Costco hot dog just for some sake of Damn. viewing, but... There is OJ it's meme down coins. Right now, I know it's down bad. Gently used leather gloves on Solana. Stop. Um, quickly rugged. Well, maybe it's trying to find some health on a shelf. Maybe this is brand new. Absolute chaos. Probably going to hell if you buy this meme token, but it is gently used leather gloves on Solana. Wow. Promptly uh, released. Wow. There's quite a few different OJ. This is back when we were uh, a country. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, things were good. Expired OJ. Oh what about my a God. quit? A quit? Is what? a quit a token? Oh, hold on. Where's OJ Whiff glove? That might have some legs oh, on it. Oh, weird. no, this is down bad. See, this is Yikes. down bad. It's called a uh, be careful out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe one of these isn't a scam, but probably all of them are. What was the, so. what was the guy that he stabbed to death? Mm. Oh, OJ? 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, There's his his wife. Yeah. Let's look at uh. Let's look at and charges, was, uh, stabbing. Let's see how many results we get. Because he really, when you search it, men killed and stabbing near Douglas Park. No. Let's see no, here. No, 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 no. Natural causes. Cancer. cancer. Yep. Cancer and Rob. Oh, Nicole. Ron this. Goldman. Yep. Ron Goldman. Yep. And then the other guy who testified, Cato Kalin. Kato Kalen? Kato Kalen, yeah. Just the guy somebody... served, he was like, yeah, bro, like, OJ's kind of weird, bro. And isn't there, wasn't there like <laughs> some type of charges where he was uh, doing something with the memorabilia, like the sports memorabilia? That, and he was like... Uh, that was way afterwards. Yeah. yeah. I think it was like tax evasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like which is, I mean, kind of, I mean, if you get busted for tax evasion, you're you're fine in my book. Yeah, I mean, well, he's already been hit for murder or counts of murder. Yeah. He got off, you know. You know, when I had my Bronco, I got... I got my Bronco in white. And did was, you really? Yes, it's, you did. It's named was it's I, I named it Juice. <laughs> you named it <laughs> Juice. And I literally bought the old I absolutely love that. I bought the old 1990s Bronco logos and I put them on the side so I had like the oh white God. juice Bronco. Oh <laughs> my God. Well, he definitely did it in my opinion. He so, stole his football yeah. cards back in Vegas. That's right. That's he what it was. He Look, stole man, his football cards. If you're robbing people in Vegas, you're fine in my book. No, I mean, <laughs> Vegas robs everyone. Everyone, so. awesome. All right. Awesome. Well, enough of that. Enough of the fun stuff. Now let's get into the markets. Markets are looking pretty fun as it sits right now. Really going to be just looking for things that are still not on their big leg up yet for opportunities. Bitcoin not giving up an inch over here at $70,200. Just looking thick. Look at the, oh, look at this. Yeah. BitTensor is the second biggest winner today. Everyone's fading this thing. I don't know. Uh, you know, I listened to people that are more intelligent than me, people that are like actual software engineers and things like that. I've heard a lot of them excited about Tau back when it was 40 bucks. It seems to have no chill, be really moving nicely. And it's one of the top gainers for today, but more so looking for the blood, looking for the opportunity. The blood is with Uniswap, uh, wow. definitely with Uniswap. Man, I want to play this song so bad today, but I we're know. just, we're doing some tweaks I'm not going to do it yet. Great. It's coming. Great. Okay. I have multiple. We have three songs. Three that, now. We have three that we need to do. So uh, there I gotta we hire that trumpet player. Yeah. Um, yeah. You need a trumpet player. BJ's going to be need here BJ. <laughs> yeah. I, BJ's we need BJ, uh, the bass. Uh, I need the bass action from BJ. <laughs> Forgot to finish the uh, shout outs though. Nicole, Nicole Minister, of course, two bros mining down in the rumble. User known as, formerly known as GB, Two Potion, Just Gin, Fluffy the Sheep, The Dead with All the G's, Sin Diesel. Um, but really, on the pullback that I'm seeing right now, uh, we got a little bit of opportunity here with Jupiter. Um, stacks, yes, within the 298 range. Oh, grab oh it. baby. Here we $3 go. Stacks this is that. what I'm oh, going to have to yes. get when I get off of there. Um, I'm going to be getting some stacks. This is looking juicy. I'm lo I'm loving the next layers of Bitcoin being built out. So just on, you know, shooting from the hip, you know, we've seen a little bit of a pullback from the FUD against the Uniswap, uh, you know, decentralized exchange from uh, SEC. And that'll create some opportunity here. Here's OJ. Uh, just look at those eyes, you know, look at those. <laughs> what an it. earnest. He's like, <laughs> unbelievable um so this is from satoshi flipper Can't just believe i'm getting away with this this is a a really nice just viewpoint of where we are right yeah. now we got fan the, of the show satoshi he's a flipper. fan i know a fan and a big fan of you satoshi flipper if you're watching this episode my god look at that bitcoin sets new all-time high this cycle in record time my the god. having is less than two weeks away u.s spot bitcoin etf issuers now hold five percent oh. Oh my oh, God! And a wild bee drive. No, Come on, get your buttons in here. Next get over here. here. Nah. Get cozy. No one even has your shot set up. Yeah, oh. barely. Uh, you'll probably have to in. unmute the mic on the uh, soundboard there. How excited are you for your your uh, your cake, dude? That baseline. Oh, don't give it away. Oh, don't worry. Damn it. Don't worry. That, uh, no one knows. The, the, this is gonna be good. The base color of the sauce <laughs> that's going <laughs> on there. It's gonna be a great. It'll be one. delicious. It's gonna be a great one. Um, Ondo, someone talking about Ondo being a good buy. I'll check that out after I just give some uh, preference to where we are in the markets right now for Bitcoin. Um, ETF issuers now hold almost 5% of the entire wow. Bitcoin supply. It makes you feel good uh, if you trust BlackRock. makes you feel weird and rich if you don't trust them and hold Bitcoin. Only two months after going live and you see this triangle coiling for weeks, what do you do? Uh, I've seen a lot of people in the morning show chat 
that we're just essentially calling for a massive, massive pullback hmm. on uh, Bitcoin. And I've been disagreeing with this hourly. I haven't been given the other option of getting back down to $50,000 for a long time now. We're still on track for me to be thusly fully correct. And uh, I'm kind of just sticking to it. I'm sticking to my guns, looking at a little bull flag building up, little health on the shelf, higher lows building up health to a nice. <laughs> you like that? That's me. I like it. That's all me. You know, like you're gonna hear those savages stealing my ideas oh, later on. I had on. a great idea. What's that? Um, we need to get uh, morale patches. Dude, yes. You see my. Pa I, that's why I like yes. wearing that jacket around. It can yes. fit all my patches. Does morale. Do you uh, approve of that? Do you approve? I approve. You can give us patches. Sorry, that was bad. <laughs> get us patches. You can morale, make this morale patches. Okay. Yeah. I like it. All right. So, yeah, because I got, I have ideas. Yeah. Like health on the shelf. Health on the shelf. Prove it points. They're all there. Building um, lads, stacking sats. Building lads. Oh, we still got to make that shirt. I like that. Um, <laughs> I told you about that months ago. <laughs> Some of them talking about Ondo. I, you know, I am laddering into Ondo, just trying to build a little bag of it. Um, what do we got here for the price action in general? Yeah, look at that. Um, I don't hate buying this at all. Oh wow! Yep, yeah, this like ain't it. bad. Uh, more health on a shelf. It'd be extra healthy if it builds off this higher low. Can you continues on up from here? But I think at large, you're still very early on. Ondo what arrow about, as well. What about see. LFG? LFG, yeah. that thing rips so hard, bro. I, I'll look at the, the graph here in a minute, but really try to find a place because that one has been going nuts. Um, Aerodrome still sitting here at a dollar eighty four. This is like 70 or 80 bucks I put into this thing. Wow. Um, and now it's like 750 about. So nice. not a bad move. And it feels good adding to the bags. Um, let's check out LFG though. Um, hey, BJ, while I was looking that up, where can I hire a trumpeter? Yeah, we need a trumpeter. Can I just go, do I just go on Craigslist? Uh, how soon do you need them? Not for like a month. Uh, I know a phenomenal one. Because I need someone to do that trumpet line. Yeah, he's nice. uh, in Nashville. Okay. We're going to you Nashville live, soon. Though. Yeah, uh, he's phenomenal. I, okay. I know him from... Can he come into the studio? I could ask him. Yeah? yeah. That'd be good. Trumpeteer. A trumpeteer. A trumpeteer. You know, I used to play the saxophone in my younger years. Yeah, that may right work. You too? Yeah. Wow. Morel plays the saxophone. I marched... Yo, I have this trademark, Hannah. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> Hannah's literally making... I a, have this trademark. She's making a meme <laughs> live time, stealing these stealing ideas. I like Just it. Just steal it. Um, All right, let's God, where do we LFG. get into LFG though? This is it's a deck screener. Well, I'm looking on Coinbase oh. too. Oh God! Yeah, this is a this Jesus. is a situation here. Um, this is building on Bitcoin. It's definitely gonna be bullish, but yeah, my so God! Holler at me for buying at three cents. You bought at three cents. <laughs> Good, right around <laughs> this thing. You bought this. Yeah, nice. I know. And then you bought an MP or an SP five. SP five. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Very nice. Um, yeah, LFG. I'm gonna have to see some calm in the uh in the waters here on the monthly uh look at that it's bo it's, bo it's bopping out it right here off at 10 cents yeah right here gosh we're still it's still a 50 million dollar market i know cap. dude I that's can't pull any profits on that thing you can't i can't i mean it it's has still gonna go it. you this know is first leg up it's first leg up yeah really what i want to do if i'm in this situation i want to get exposure which i do to lfg I'm going to be waiting for a little bit of a pulse to be created right in between this 10 cent to 12 cent range. And then I'll be buying that one. Yep. Definitely want to give this one me personally. I'm going to give it a week to see how it reacts and uh, just see if it's just a massive sell off from all the profit that's being taken because you have a lot of uh, people that are looking at this thing in a fractions of a cent. Yep. Um, at one, one and a half cents. There will be. Blood. There will be profit taking. No, Speaking of blood, are we talking about Solana at some point? Yeah, uh, we yeah. I, I got some things. You got some things. I got, I got some, some things. Spice. Oh my right. god, Solana. You, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Um, Trump <laughs> with the hair. Trump with hair cat. That might be a new one. <laughs> Two potion. Um, now, what do you guys think about this? This Mister 100 conversation. This undisclosed nation state. I thought he got doxxed. Like, uh, yeah, and it was a uh, an exchange. Was it what? What exchange was it? It was like BitTrue, or yeah. it was some exchange that they had connected it to. Yeah. Um. There is still chatter that this is a nation state that's simply using that exchange address, and it's just being they're buying so much that it was thought oh. to be an address of the exchange, but it actually might still be that nation state. Fifty nine thousand Bitcoin. That's a lot of Bitcoin, man. Jeez. That is a lot of Bitcoin. Um. 
interesting to watch this wallet honestly it's uh just more confluence is trad five you know leaving their burning house they just don't want everyone else to know what they're doing so we're yep. gonna be trying to watch this closer and closer to uh see exactly if it is a nation state or just a, a billionaire going ham bone uh, but very interesting to see these massive amounts being bought we also had a south korean opposition party winning the election that is pro bitcoin uh, they are committed to allowing domestic investors to buying Bitcoin ETFs in South Korea. Interesting play. Just moving across Asia, probably trying to beat uh, China and Hong Kong. Yep, definitely. Uh, China and Hong Kong's ETF coming right up. So uh, sold all my soul and bought projects that haven't pumped yet. Veteran crypto, not a bad, bad take. Um, I do have some Solana in the wings. I'm trying to decide what to do with right now. I still have a lot. Uh -oh. You still have a lot? Well, here's what I was wondering. So yeah. multiple questions, because I did want to talk about network thing, because I feel like as we've been talking about these meme coins the whole time, mm -hmm. you and I have definitely fundamentally said we still don't trust Solana yeah. for a lot of reasons. But didn't the FTX bankruptcy just happen? And then um, they're allowed to start selling all of that? They have to hold a lot of the Solana for a very long time. For how long? Do you know the exact, I think it's like 2026, 2020. Because my question is, that's funny that that happened when the network is congested. Mm. So I don't know if you guys are familiar. So I wanted to go on a pro Cardano rant here, but like part of that, a pro Cardano rant is um, I'll give anybody in here a thousand dollars. If you can figure out actually $10,000, if you can figure out the uh, IP address of my block producer for mm. NES pool. Whoa. You're a not challenge. Not. You're literally not. You challenge them. And where that is a super positive thing is what's happening with Solana right now is whale DDoS attacks. Yeah. Yep. So yep. what yep. somebody yep. can do is they can figure out a wallet. So I'm wondering if some of this FTX stuff that's coming out is it is coming out, but they're claiming it's not coming out and they're able to DDoS everything and basically run everything through. Because it's mm. funny, I'm having no problem doing any transactions on Solana, but I'm using sniper bots. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. yeah, Phantom and everything else are like, oh, it's congested. Like, I've noticed no difference when I'm using sniper bots. Yeah, I've had no I difference with, on Jupiter. Yeah, if I try to move with Phantom, it's not happening right now. Yeah. Interesting. So, Phantom's Jupiter. But really? nonetheless, it's, it's a, I borderline wouldn't even call Solana a blockchain because of the centralization and how everything moves through everything. Mm. And the fact that, like, you can DDoS something. It's not, kind yeah. of hilarious. That's not yeah. good. But it, it, it's what every, everybody's doing right yeah. now. So it's like when you get in a big coin with low market cap and you see all these whales going back and forth, well, that whale can have somebody else DDoSing somebody else's wallet so that they can do the buys and sells so the other person can't. Uh, it's pretty wild. Well, but you still have your salon. Of course. I mean, I'm still like way that. up and I'm still bullish on a lot of things, but I fundamentally don't like the tech and fundamentally still don't trust Solana. Yeah. What's the solution? Say Cardano. It. There we go. That's what you, <laughs> Say it. You know, I, mean, I still think it the is. He's trying. And it's a slow, it's like you're watching grass grow, but it's good grass. It's really good grass. Well, on a, here's some fun alpha. Uh, I can't go into the super details of it, but I may have a connection with a bunch of movie studios that want to tokenize assets. Oh, really? Oh, and I already made some calls, but I didn't call anybody on any other chain besides Cardano. Okay. Because I think that'd be the, probably, honestly, the best place to do okay. it. Okay. So, um, yeah, I've seen, uh, even, uh, uh, Gary Cardone, uh, was looking at, uh, Cardano. He's talking to crypto crow. Gary Cardone was, yeah. Um, Hosky's then, talking to him right now. Hosky. Yeah. And we got Gary Cardone talking about Grant Cardone looking to sell 605 ocean Boulevard for 646 Bitcoin. Uh, kind of an interesting thing to see this coming. This guy the thing that strikes me as interesting is Grant is just very entrenched in trad five brains. I have no idea. He... Wait, that's so very sick. entrenched. I've been in that building. Can You've been in this building. Morel's been in the building. What? Yeah. Do what? tell what? me what? more. Porn shoot. Is it a, yeah. <laughs> is it a building or a house? I mean, it's a, it's or a, a complex. It's a complex. <laughs> okay. And we, what kind of adult film were you filming? Was it tasteful? It was not that tasteful. Not tasteful. Oh, hell <laughs> hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. Distasteful. Fair enough. Fair right. enough. Oh, there was some tasting. <laughs> no. Dude, what? No. no. Hold on. No. Okay, hold on. If you were no. to like do this. Do what? Like to sell it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Can you just transfer the Bitcoin wallet wallet? Like the fact that he's posting that on Twitter, like very publicly, like that transaction, can, you can just do that. Yeah, I mean, there's you ways to do it. Real estate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, there it's, are ways. if it's P2P, then all you got to do is sign over a deed. If yeah. he owns it outright and has a deed, so it's P2P, not P2P. Uh, you know, uh, we don't know. P2P. We, we don't know. Speaking of, oh, 
is going so down. there's some like docking going on there <sighs> bj you're almost <laughs> kicked off the show right <laughs> oh I'm, talk- I'm talking about container docking speaking of punishment we have a court in vietnam handing the death sentence to a real estate tycoon Trung my land. <laughs> Is that real? Yeah. Trung my land. Uh, get off my land. <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> uh, for her role in the 304 trillion dong or $12.5 billion financial fraud, one of the country's largest on record, state media has said this morning. That's super based. That is very based. Sentencing a uh, fraudster to death. If we could have nice things in America, Sam Bankman Fried would be blood eagled in the middle of Times Square. Nice reference. Uh, but they we can't have nice things. Yeah, I like know? that. I yeah. like this. And uh yeah, she's not just getting executed, she's getting Vietnam executed. Vietnam executed. <laughs> so they're quite proficient at that. Oh god. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be rough. Um, so yeah, just nice to see. And now this is just a little heartwarming. Heart yeah. This is also heartwarming. Yeah. Trusting the science, American Heart Association was paid off by Procter and Gamble to say that a heart disease was caused by saturated fats and not seed oil. Who could have seen this coming? My God. Unbelievable. Dude, yeah. I have been uh I basically consumed only seed oils uh when I eat like fast food. Mm-hmm. I, there's like no seed oils in my house. Yep. And I feel great, and the doctors are baffled <laughs> because my cholesterol is like kind of high, mm. but all my other, like my high, like the LDL and HDL, like my good cholesterol is like yeah. off the charts. Really? Yeah, my triglycerides are low, but my overall cholesterol is like 300. They're like, you need to go on whatever, whatever. I'm like, how's my blood pressure? And they're like, it's 110 over 65. You know what it is? <laughs> it's the liquor. That diastolic's yeah. like weirdly low. Yeah. Not, not in a bad way. You know, yeah. you said but something on Twitter uh, that really struck me. You know, yeah. and I am a you know a casual drinker. Um, Nick had just a very base post here. I saw I mean, all of my back. posts are just exceedingly I mean, based. All of these are based. Um, where? Oh yeah, here it is. People used to drink alcohol at lunch during the workday, but now lots of people would think you're some kind of uh, insane person if you did. Interesting cultural change. Single handedly been bringing back th- this over a decade. <laughs> Alcohol is the social lubricant. When applied in small doses, it works wonders. It's true. My- <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's like literally fact check true. Oh my Anytime God. Anytime people have to work after five o'clock, you should do shots. At mm. lunch, you should be buzzed. Like, it's just good business. Yeah, it's it doesn't good. mess with your GABA pathways or anything it else. Matter. You know? it, it, doesn't matter. Matter. it matters a lot. It oh matter. my Lord. Um, I'm here. Yeah. I mean, you're making me want a beer. You know Honestly, I mean? at first, when this picture came by, I thought it was a Black Flag um, album yeah, cover. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're just pouring into their, into their mouths. All excited. Look at those um, abs. I love it. There's so much testosterone it. in that picture right oh, there. Yeah. Let's just all those guys are in there like... Look They're all guy. pushing like 1,100 testosterone. Yeah, look at this. Just, Even the women. I was about to say. The women have like 500. have chiseled chins. I know. You know what I mean? Look at the chins on I these know. fat guys. Wait, you're, you're, yeah, the fat chins are even chiseled. I yeah. know. It's yeah. incredible. They all this have is... like nine kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, we used to have nice things. We can bring it back. We can bring it back. Oh, yeah. This is fun. Banks should be fine as long as they didn't pile back into U.S. Treasuries late last year, expecting rate cuts as early as March. <laughs> Here oh, are geez. banks. Uh, just looking around, whoopsies, and yes, this is why the long-term outlook of banks being solvent remains bearish for me. This is just another talking point of why we need to pay attention to this because what if those like one-year treasuries had a higher yield than like the ten-year? Absolutely, like that oh, should have been obvious. It works, like, huge absolutely. margin. You got somebody like hacking GTA, and you're like, wait, this is going to cause an issue. No, no, yeah. it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's, uh, it's fine. We're going to have an issue, and you know what I'm noticing is that we're blocked. Like the Kobiesi letter and bar chart. Why? Because I have all these things. They, uh, well, I've been, I brought up that banking note because it was a response. The FDIC says, hey, we're going to be fine if one of our massive banks or even a few massive banks go under. FDIC is again getting ahead of the conversation with our $130 billion in our reserves. Right. I mean, you know, they're basically priming the public to expect a few banks to go down and they're saying that they're going to be solid. It's going to be fine. But the reminder is that they hammered into treasuries last year that are going to be repoed. And uh, inflation's not given up. So we have a very, very sticky situation building up right now. And uh, that's basically the look on their face. Just a very concerned sock puppet looking around. Um, Hit the likes. That's right. Hit the likes. 
everybody. We yeah, got we a lot, lot of new names likes. in here. There's uh, so many new people. Yeah. Destruction X. The Bitcoin Stew. What's up, Battling dude? Billy. Rugged Nerd. Love it. Um, right. Seymour Boots. Oh, Seymour Boots. Boots. Is that a real one? <laughs> no. Okay. Mike Hawk. Mike Hawk. <laughs> uh, China, China has been buying more gold than any other nation since 2020 with bullish. India in Kinda second place. So bullish for crypto. Yeah, so man. So bullish for Bitcoin. I mean, this is like, they just want to store value. What is Bitcoin? No one wants the dollar. No one wants the dollar. They're like, the dollar is Dude. rancid. Mm -hmm. It is sticky poop. Yep. Well, don't do that to Tim Armstrong. Tim Armstrong. I don't oh, know who that member is. of the band Rancid. Oh, uh, I'm. I was. I never really got into Rancid. Well, I was more not of a all dead those Kennedy. can be classic. I was more of a Dead Kennedys guy. Yeah, Dead Kennedys. <laughs> <UK fan. laughs> no, I do yeah. like them though. They're good. Yeah, Fresh basically, fruit for rotting vegetables. They're fleeing from the dollar. They also don't want to hold the dollar because it can be weaponized against them. Should they yeah. choose the side of bricks a few years from now, a year from now, that holding the dollar as your value as a nation can be weaponized against you. Should you? Uh, decide to dissent from NATO. Yep. And it's getting weird supporting NATO and like Israel. It's like Israel has done such an insane gutting of Gaza that it's basically human, dripping in blood. Mean? It's like a werewolf that you need to like, hey, okay, the job's done, retribution's there, yep. calm down. And uh, they don't seem to be calming down at all. Now Iran's trying to kick up the heat on it. It's just getting hot out there, you guys. So when I look at this transfer into gold from major banks, I also do think of the fact that these large <laughs> money instruments, these nation states, are going to be looking at Bitcoin as a backing. What? What happened? <laughs> Chat, chat's very funny today. Oh, God. We're lucky. Hey, okay, says, don't mention sticky poop around Vince McMahon. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm trying what not to. What are you doing, bro? Oh, my God. All right. So now this. Wow, wow, we wow. James O'Keefe. Base. Inside the Federal Reserve. Giga Chad. Hidden camera captures principal eco economic Federal Reserve leader talking about the Jerome Powell legacy as somebody who held the line against like Trump. Did you watch this video? Let's we're gonna watch it right now. It is insane. I, I watched watch a piece of, of it, it, but it is crazy. Let's have a listen. Let's give it a go. Principal right now, I'm preparing for something. I'll do a, a talk to the, to, the, to the Fed board. Meet Harrell Hizmo. He's a principal economist working inside the Federal Reserve. So you write speeches for Powell? Yeah, like for you know certain paragraphs. I'm just really worried that I'm saying stuff like uh, stuff that's classified. Do you deal with classified stuff? It's all classified. Oh. Right? Quote. It's all classified. It's all classified. Uh, Trump is it's a crazy person. It's, it's very clear. I mean, he's a dumb guy. Does he hate Trump? And, like, is the yeah, feeling so, yeah, neutral? Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Okay. Yeah. 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 And Trump was president. Mm. He wanted to stimulate the economy. Right. But he wouldn't do it. That must have been the weirdest thing ever. Doing the opposite of Trump wanted. This seems oh, like okay. a no. Okay. No. <laughs> this is Listen, the, the <laughs> insane context of this. You have a politically motivated... <laughs> leader of the Federal Reserve, turning on and off the spigot to the money system that this entire Ponzi was built upon to his political liking to go after his political opponent is what this is yep. being released out of this inside source at the Federal Reserve. <clears throat> Not only does the existence of the Federal Reserve piss me off because a government cannot justly govern if they're beholden to a central bank and have to follow all the hints and cues of the central bank, to accomplish what is needing to be done. But then you add in politically motivated uh, Trump derangement syndrome Powell into the equation, and you have the means for absolute and utter control. This <laughs> Trump is announcing Powell as his VP. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Trump announces Powell as vice president. Can I mean, that would be something else. Then Jerome Powell just be drug around behind him like a little oh, poodle. Okay. Um this is uh this is abs it's beyond infuriating to me uh yeah laser face i'm infuriated as well i'm trying not to curse or freak out or throw the table well, like, the right decision now. to change the fractional reserve to zero percent was all the federal reserve and the president and the rest of the nation had nothing to do with that decision correct um i think that the president or the government did have a play in that but it, uh, the ultimate decision is federal reserve which is so you know? insane yeah and it's almost like um like where's the oversight like real right. talk Right, and once you have someone that's politically, like, okay, I talk about the good and the bad of Trump um, all the time. Everyone knows about that. Honestly, I am leaning more and more back into voting for him again 
after I saw him call for the non-compliance in mass as they try to roll out this bird flu scam. But then seeing Jerome Powell in the background has been weaponized against Trump this whole time. Mm. This is dangerous shit. This is very dangerous shit because you have basically a leader that cannot lead, a government that cannot govern. We are all behest to the Federal Reserve and BlackRock at this point. And it takes, like, if it's not profitable to help people, these companies will not do it. Mm -mm. And that is where the real danger in it is. You know, we can't, we can barely afford, like, the average person is barely holding on. They're holding on by their fingertips right now, especially if they're not in crypto. And to see this be weaponized, uh, this country needs to realize what's been done on a large scale. Our communications were taken away. They told no more going to church. The only things that we made sure stayed available to us were the hospital, the liquor store, and the pot shop. This country needs an overhaul, absolutely. Country and needs uh, an enema. An enema. That's a good call. A we holy need, enema. We need, we need a coffee enema. Yeah. So it's funny. The the whole coffee. the new narrative has been dropping. It's it's been it was dropping yesterday. Okay. Talking about the no landing. Uh, oh, you have to look at what? Like, not, <laughs> Hannah just learned what an enema was. I knew it she was looked up an enema. Oh my god! All right, and like, like Hannah's, when Hannah's learning state. about her body today, live on stream. That's what America needs. That's what America needs is an enema. So, yeah, we guys, whatever you do, do not do plus one enema in the chat, <laughs> or do, or you do. know, or I mean, do. That, that was that could be a morale patch. Yeah. America needs an enema. Yeah, I like it. Um, okay, so Just they were plus talking about. Enema. There's been the narrative of, hey, soft landing, hey, hard landing. No, no, actually soft landing. And then we had the chart of all the Google news things saying, hey, guys, don't worry. It's soft landing, right? No. I know that's usually telegraphed for like in a huge economic crisis. Enema of the state. Of the state. <laughs> Enema of the state. <laughs> so now people are call, all the smart the people are calling for no landing. I they're mean, saying it's we're hard not to just put the gear down and it's going to get wavy because it feels like they're just pouring nitrous oxide in our engine and we're just vertically angled and eventually yes. we'll stall off and our, just go to the ground. Our allies and our frenemies are offloading all of their dollars. Mm -hmm. um, some folks in the spaces yesterday morning were, ta were calling for a 9% inflation rate. Yeah. And this is a CPI, a 9% CPI at the end of this year. <laughs> like, we're talking about bread lines. We're talking about crazy stuff right now. Mm -hmm. And the Democrats, the only thing they have to do now, the only thing they have to do is print. That's all there That's is the only to thing it. they can do. So they're going to turn on that printer and we're, we're in like dumb, we're in dumb monopoly money territory. It yeah. may not actually hit until 2025, which is actually their plan. Yeah. Well, it lines up perfectly for me and my plan too. Yep. You know, I'm in crypto. I'll buy their momentary tap out on uh, interest rates and then they'll have to jackknife them up. And, the quantitative easing, it's coming. They're probably going to do some treasury repos first. That'll probably be the next pile of macro news from all these geniuses that are, you know, spinning around Twitter the first thing in the morning, acting like they know everything. Treasury repos are coming next. That is <laughs> the next step in their process. And then they'll just go to true and tried quantitative easing. <laughs> uh, enema. Enema. <laughs> oh, no. Hannah, what in the hell have you done? We got we to gotta shut this show down. Enema. <laughs> What? <laughs> Look at me. BJ is so pleased with himself. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Strong. So, yeah. <laughs> Basically, we've been captured from the inside, you guys. And honestly, the Argentina move to destroy the central bank, very bullish. Okay. I would uh, prefer that painful move right now than wait until these psychopaths print us off the literal edge of reality. Yep. Because it's coming. Um, it's a very ugly thing to see. And a lot of the macro people, they're correct about the doom and gloom. It's just they're correct too early. So um, think about it that way. This is interesting too. Key inflation data was leaked to BlackRock and JP Morgan by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, allowing their traders <laughs> love to make so market moving bets, according to Bloomberg and the New York effing Times. This is incredible. <laughs> uh, Marty Party has been dropping some incredible scoops yeah. recently. He's but really yeah, good. this we all knew this has been happening. Yeah. But he's calling it out and he's got a big platform, which is good to see. Yeah. Um, so yeah, good on you, man. And this is just more par for the course, but I'm glad that it's being reported upon. Uh, more people will know. That's a, it's up to us. You know, we're talking about some pretty spicy stuff right now, and we need to get this information out to literally everybody. You need to yeah. grab them by the shoulders, scream in their face, and wow. let them know about these crooks and what they're doing at the top. 
as this same uh, firm is gobbling up damn near 5% of all Bitcoin. This is building out for, you know, it just is more solidification of my idea, my disappointment that we're concreting over our exit hatch yep. from the big kahuna by yep. injecting TradFi goods and adrenochrome into ourselves. We're going to fall yep. just as they will if we continue down this path. We need to fight for DEXs like Uniswap. Um, man. Well, no, like DEXs, like muesli swap muesli ethereum swap. can die okay <laughs> it did it okay min swap min swap that's yeah. another one i support all dexes though i almost wanted to be nice to richard hart today and i decided no but i almost did yeah you know i was like maybe i'll put richard in the no. enemy of my enemy is my friend but i was like nah he gave me pedal vibes he's probably he's probably captured yeah. you know he's probably captured so and, wait are you wait, are you saying drew are you saying you're bidexual bidexual <laughs> bidexual yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah absolutely um this is a word from Paul Grawal of uh, Coinbase. Sometimes you have to laugh or else you'll cry. Question. How can you square the SEC government's claim that Uniswap acts as a broker with a court's ruling against the SEC just yes. a handful of days ago? You cannot. Uh, this is more... It's Gary keeping the facade and the mist in front of the regular day-to-day -day well, person. No, never mind. What? It, it was a, a long, weird thing I was thinking, but if uh, Coinbase becomes a custodial agent for BlackRock, then they, they get off the hook, but then you try to claim that there's some connection between Ethereum in general and Uniswap, then somehow the government's able just to seize all the Bitcoin. Huh? Like It would be this weird, weird, weird thing. No, I think they're like, just going to huh. seize it with uh, just buying it, taking it out of the market. I you agree. know what I mean? Like. I don't think you can stop. Like, I know there's a lot of conversations about the control of the major miners that BlackRock... BlackRock has shares in four of the biggest miners. Well, that US, and so. that anything on Ethereum can be blacklisted and frozen mm -hmm. at any time. Mm -hmm. it, it worked pretty quick. So there is a narrative where they could do this. Do I think they do? No. Do I think they more likely do what you're saying where they just buy it up? Yes. Here's mm -hmm. the trigger for that. Yeah. If you see more and more Bitcoin becoming wrapped Bitcoin. Ooh. Yeah. That's a big... Right now, there's not that much wrapped Bitcoin. Yeah. I think there's only maybe like 100,000 or so. Okay. Wrapped that's actually a really good point. Yeah. But as soon as you see wrapped Bitcoin on Ethereum, that's that's a red flag. Yeah. Yeah. And they, you know they're going to go there too with it. I mean, they I want to. Well, they're, they're no. going to try an Ethereum... Or they're going to try some type of you know, um, exotic ETF of like of crypto. Right, right. And call it like a DeFi ETF. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you start wrapping Bitcoin. Now it's locked up. Now it's an OFAC territory and it's Ooh. Sayonara. And then you get the $20,000 Litecoin. Yeah, oh, <laughs> oh my God, $20,000 Litecoin. I know. Um, don't tell Miss Teen Crypto I said that. Yeah, I, I don't think, uh, I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, because I'm sure... This is going to be bad because Warren, we saw her yesterday building that conversation that I ran. If they she were, she can't do shit. I Here's know. the thing with Warren, uh, She's but the guy just, she was talking to was the NSA guy. Yeah, also dumbass. She is a sock puppet, yeah. and so is that guy. So, I think they're just. I at this honestly, I swear to God, right now, I think Elizabeth Warren is just a fud spokesperson to mm. keep normies out of crypto. Yeah, yeah. it's working. Uh, it's working. Yeah, it's working. But I, I don't think she's actually getting anything done other than giving us talking points. So. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, God bless her for that, yeah. too. When and, you check her track record, what yeah. uh, the amount of bills that she's endorsed versus she, the ones that have passed. She got yeah. like 1% passed, or even if no, that. No, it's lower than that. It's lower than 1%. Uh, last time we checked, it was like 70. Never mind. I was going to make up numbers, but I. Out of, I want to say there were 40 of them in last session or last season, and none of them. Wow. I wonder if she still has Pocahontas.com. Let's see here. What? Remember back in the day when carpetbaggingbitch.com used to take you to Hillary Clinton's website? I do. Oh, wow. That's this when was we like had... 1998. Yeah. That's when we had good things. I don't think she has the, the we Pocahontas domain anymore, but she at one point did have the Pocahontas domain. Shout out to her for uh, you know, trying to act like a Native American. I'm probably more Native American than Elizabeth Warren, honestly. Yeah. Uh, but this is just a, uh, a note from Eric Voorhees and all this. Honestly, I'm not even sure if there's a chilling effect anymore. More tokens exist today at a higher market cap than during the ICO boom. Crypto at all-time highs and DeFi is flourishing. We're building orbital space stations while the SEC is sending mean letters through the post. Yep. Very much agree with this. And now, 
Shout out to this guy for not having his head completely buried in his asshole. Adam Cochran, uh, realizing that the SEC is embarrassing itself going after DeFi. This guy drives me a little nuts because he's so liberal, but I think he's starting to realize that his liberal overlords are he does actually... He moon face. He has liberal moon face. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, you can almost tell, huh? Yeah, yeah, it just looks that's what I'm soft. talking about. It's, it's just like a little shining moon boy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's like a moon so child. Endearing. Yeah, like a little Luna moon child. <laughs> Luna moon child. My estrogen is oh off the charts. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, but he's starting to realize that, you know, they're coming for him. You know what I mean? They, uh, You can't really make many uh, partners with liberals without them eventually trying to cannibalize you. Now, they're Marxists. I want to I wanna ask Morel's question. I want to ask Morel a question. Morel, you're heavy into Telegram. BJ's heavy into Telegram. Yeah. I'm on Telegram right now. We're on Telegram right now. I got into it Are semi you? because of BJ. Yeah. There's all this DeFi all shenanigans. Well, yeah. now we got like, you set me up a Unibot this morning. I got the Bonk Bot going. Yeah. Um, what was the other one? It was like the... Snackbot. Well, you use, I got to get Snackbot still. You should. So you um, don't want to be poor. Yeah. Last night I went in, went in the uh, rabbit hole for Telegram bots and did Bonk Bot and started degening trades on there and wow. felt like a real pleb. Yeah. For not using it before. Yeah. Like it if you're using or trading any type of DeFi and you're not using a bot, you're doing it all wrong. You're trying to use the internet with a hammer and chisel. Yeah. Like it's just all wrong. Whoa, it, I love Minecraft. Oh. oh. Continue on that. <laughs> um, but no, it it takes every trade, it displays it all in the bot. Um, they're one click trades, and you can all do the presets and everything. You have to use bots to trade DeFi. Yeah. Guaranteed. Now you see the price action. Pull up this price action at Tuncoin. I was about uh, to say, and, uh, look at this. Oh uh, we should pull this up on a deck screen or look at the uh, the top ten holders. Yeah, yeah, we went over that. It's, it's worse it's, than Doge. Is it bad? It's, worse. it's, it's very, way worse I'm, than Doge. I'm huge on tech. I, I want to just token? do a deep dive yeah. into this thing. Like, I mean, because we're seeing the price. It's, so I think well the Telegram beyond. Foundation holds a lot of it. Does yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. And I yeah. think where they're going, I didn't realize like they're trying to the supply, but they're trying to become like a CDN in a way. Yeah. So like a content delivery network. So Telegram yeah. in general, super bullish on it. But the distribution on this... On the token itself, ton cool. Is questionable yeah. to me. Um, Let's see if I can pull this onto deck screen. Or I might as well go there. It's just, it's got my attention because it seems like they're actually potentially going to be able to actually kind of compete and try to create a WeChat type situation. Um, Let's see here. Because you're, you're rolling out... A so it's almost turning in because they have the telegram video stuff coming yeah, out I mean, they got the very strong communications boards um let's see here i actually kind of want to do this on dex tools rather dex screener has its uh moments where it's useful but i like dex tools for this one let's go here pop the address bam wrap ton coin what do we got here dun, dun. well you can also throw that into an explorer and then look at holders too. yeah Let's see here. I don't know. I'm going to have to I mean, dig into this a little into bit more. Your bot. Uh, here yeah. we go. Oh, no, no. This is to look at a bunch of other stats. But yeah, there, there's a bot that will do that as well. But yeah, look, yeah I went. There's deep. less. I found of, all of them oh, last yeah. night. This there, is there, on that bot, too. The the bot. What is the screener bot that you're using? Soul screener bot. Soul. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, soul that screener is it. bot. There's like, a lot um, of them. <clears> and, <throat> and like when you go to hook up the platforms or when you branch out from just creating bots within Telegram, mm. you can connect like Twitter and Facebook and you can start pulling stats or tweets or content. And yeah, like you can here's one right here. It's end like up you put it, it in. directly to your own account and tweet it out or repurpose it. Yeah. This thing is Automation. intriguing to me, you guys, honestly, like it's got quite a bit of market cap right now. If you look at the market cap, it's sitting at a 23 or 25 billion already. It's previous it's all time high has been, you know, kind of slapped around. Um, this thing is well beyond its previous all-time high. But look at the market cap. You can tell it's got some inflation situations happening in the background. The market cap to price graph, a little bit different. If you notice the price, uh, you know, very, very high here at around $4.40. At the same time, the market cap was, you know, uh, well, actually, they probably weren't reporting the market cap, but around like five, probably in between 10 to 5 billion right there at that initial all-time high. Now sitting at $25 billion. How high can this thing freaking go? You have a S-ton-fi. S-ton-fi? Yes. On-ton-ching. What? 
Yeah. On Send coin? me that yeah. link in the uh, Slack. It, it's in the uh, basement. It's already Best, pumped okay. with the market cap. All right, let me it's see here. At, uh, Pull my screen down, Owen. 31 million. 31 million, it's over. It's over? No. <laughs> S-ton dot five. It's okay. their swap or little Guys, DeFi. If, if, this if, is their swap. If, if Telegram mm, starts becoming up, like the next Solana as far as meme coin goes, we are going to freaking Jupiter and <laughs> look beyond. At this. Get on it early. So look buy a ton and buy Jupiter. Buy ton. Well, look at this. I like this. This is the swaps for it. Uh, Morel's talking about. Go to the website. I need the I need to see the product. And first of all, thirty one mil. That's much more movable. That's, I might have to buy this. Yeah, we uh, I because I'm huge on like C swap, X swap, Uniswap, all the yeah. the swap systems. Got to have them all. Instantly swap ton coin for Go any to coin app. or token at the best rate. Go to the app. Let's see this. What is this? Fair nice drop percent, ten percent for stun staking. What what can you swap out? They got oh, pools. They got staking. Here. UST dude. Oh, they got okay. a whole bunch of degenerate fish duck. Duck. <laughs> this is huge. Uh jar bugs. Did or we jar just buzz? find the next crypto gem? Dude. <clears throat> Trademark copyright. Dude. Probably. Yeah. Like this is gonna act violently. If uh Tuncoin continues its this, price action, that price goes somewhere. This, this yeah, this they have Graham on there. Oh, they have Graham. That's a mineable coin. Mm. This reeks of autism. Okay, <laughs> this reeks of autism. Very <laughs> bullish on that, man. I mean, you've sold me. That's where I'm sold. You know what I mean? Once it starts reeking of tisms. Uh, let's just see I, here. I may have to do a deep dive on this. Yeah, dude. I think I can still put out my Coinbase video now that I may have to do a quick update for the end of it, but mm -hmm. I think I'm going to follow up with this. Well, and the, next, the one that I have coming out on Saturday is just uh, Telegram in general to start the conversation about really what they're angling at. and But this... Uh, uh, S ton fi and yep. this whole ecosystem probably yep. needs to be gutted. We need to gut this ecosystem and find the gems before this so. explodes. I That's what so. we need Bro. to do. Bro, all right, That's we're actually we to we're gonna do that. And when we find out some stuff about ton defi, we're gonna put it in the OG chat, which you can only get access to if you're a member here on YouTube. If you're a member here on YouTube, <laughs> yeah, so you guys, we're gonna put it. Um, God, I have so much more news to get through. I know. Uh, I know. You're, how, you're how am I gonna, good at your job. How am I going to get through this? Okay, so here's just a quick look at a new design for a slingshot you can make. This is from Brian Romuel. Oh, that's not as cool as the other one. I like this one, though. It's got a little wrist support. A much uh, more no, there's accurate. one that it's just like the diamond that you hold in your hand. Yeah, it's probably uh, the same person. But you can be simple. The, yeah, the that's moral just of the story. It's just very simple. Oh, Put it not, together. That's, a, that's an arrow. Oh, yeah. He's shooting an arrow. Pretty <laughs> sick, though. Um, just, you know, ideas for when the bubble bursts. Now we have this. Consumer Reports urging USDA to remove Lunchables from the National yes. School Program due to high levels of lead and sodium. Lead? Bro, we lead. never had Lunchables lead? at school. Nay, that, would have been, yeah. that would have been the most luxury thing on the planet. Yeah, I was say, which school has ever had Lunchables? If our cafeteria had Lunchables. Mm. We had square pizza. We yeah. had, <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Yeah. Did you ever look at a school cafeteria and then look at a prison cafeteria and see that's the same thing? Yes, the no. Dexo. <laughs> yes. yes, the Dexo supplies the oh, for geez, both. What oh, what'd you do? So, yeah, that, I mean, they're just trying to kill us. There you go. It's being proven. They've been trying to kill us for a long time. Here's a Toshi Flipper on a shout out for long on base. This is something else on the base ecosystem we need to start paying attention to. Um, been one of his picks for a bit, but it's just performing real good. One of the newer kind of picks within base's ecosystem. So another one to keep on our radar. Uh, we have so much to get through still. This was crazy. Art Trade giveaway alert uh, for Art Trade app on Twitter. And this was in connection to the Rune Stones. And uh, oh. let's see here. Oh, God, what is that? So I want to find... I had the damn link up here. Oh, here it is. This is the guy, Leo Kaliard. Oh, yeah. Block Mint goes live in less than one hour. This was earlier this morning. This sold out in less than one minute. Wow. Uh, these are granite, stone, Bitcoin blocks, and marble uh, backing NFTs on Bitcoin. Absolutely crazy uh, what's coming to the Bitcoin ecosystem. All being built underneath our noses, all at warp speed. We have this, Coinbase integrating Apple Pay for Bitcoin and crypto purchases in the oh, UK. Wow. Interesting. So uh, maybe the UK people will be just forced to use Apple and... Uh, Coinbase uh, integrated with their Apple Pay to be able to get access anymore. I am. I hopped on Banter Bubbles. 
I didn't sign in on here. I'm signed Dude, in upstairs. You've got to sign in. I'm already submitted my wallet for the airdrop. I'm what? Qualified. Wait, what? How did you do that? I'm He's qualified. Gone. What did you do? What are the steps? You sign in. That's all. Sign in and you have to let it sit on there and run. Oh, yeah. I mean, you get more points, I think, if you talk and interact with the chat. But yeah, I yeah. think if you sit on there for maybe a day or so or just a little round a day, it'll you refresh it. You'll have a, the ticker and you'll qualify for the airdrop. And you can submit your Solana okay. email address and okay. you're good to go. Well, Shit. What I'm wallet does it work with? Um, any Solana. Any Solana wallet. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Well, there we go. I guess I'm farming some gummies. Apparently, uh, Taco reminded me to do this this morning. Shout out to you, dude. And yeah, I'll see what this comes out to. Maybe nothing. Maybe something. Yeah, sometimes it may be good. Sometimes it may be shit. Uh, we have this. <laughs> this is the actual um, Runestone uh, the Block Collection .io from Leo Caliard. He is the artist that designed the Runestone. Uh, you're thinking about all the people that made these Buku bucks within the Runestone realm. This money is going to be flowing downhill. These things are going to be extremely sought after, in my opinion. Uh, it just, just gives a video of the mine. I don't want to go too far into it, but the white marble block here, you get the black marble block. Um, these are all sold out, so now you're going to see the so secondary. These are physical yes. yeah? blocks. Physical marble blocks. That's this, fucking cool. It's bro. Bro. Cool. Right? <laughs> it's cool. That. And I, I, I like raw materials, right? And I'm, physical yeah. and the art of sculpting. I know, is so cool. I'm, yeah, DC um, has all those like tungsten and copper cues exactly behind it. Yeah. And I see the jealousy. Every you do. Time I see. I, see I hate that. I, but then I remind myself that I have an MP5. That's true. And then everything's fine. <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> all right, more stuff I'm farming, you guys. Layer N at Layer N underscore official. Um, hopped on here just into their test net. And I am seeing if I can catch a airdrop by interacting with this new protocol. Shout out to you, Deucey Does, for giving out the membership. Appreciate you, brother. Um, but this is another one. I am seeing what I can farm out of it later. And let me see how much more we can get into this. Uh, Celestia talking about trying to integrate Bitcoin. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Modular Dubai plus yeah. STAS keeps. We'll jump on a panel discussing how we can get having having a million active rollups. They are trying to build rollups on top of Bitcoin ecosystem. Celestia, Tia token, criminally undervalued right now. Definitely adding more to my bag. It's around 10 bucks. Um, here's OJ. We already looked at that. Wow. We did it. We made it through yes. all of this. I mean, that was a lot of stories. I really uh, made it. I was going to cover this guy losing his mind online. Um, Wait, who uh, is a Safu XBT Safu? Uh, posted yeah. this? And it was this Edgar Pavlovsky guy resigned from margin fi from the research arm from it all in a it was a world-class team really is but i don't agree with the way things have been doing been done internally or externally said it many times um oh yeah who are we rating look at this no guy. one no one he just says it all casual um uh, yeah find rodney in there let's let's go after rodney here this guy uh got pretty pissed off uh calling people uh dirt sacks um Dirt all kinds sex? of he said a lot of not <laughs> naughty naughty words that i don't really want to repeat right now but yeah, basically i, I want to but i'm not dirty. going yeah to. i'm just saying phrasing yeah. matters fair fair enough okay <laughs> um but yeah he kind of lost it on uh margin fi left him and uh definitely went rogue on them and uh yeah they're talking about uh so much weird shit i can't even keep clicking into those uh basically just lost his mind here in crypto, you know, if you have a short-term goal, you're going to lose your mind. What are we talking about? Raiding? I have six people talking to me about raiding. Who are we going to raid? Where are we going, Owen? Find out. Oh, my God. What's happening? Yeah, just do some shit. Yeah. Uh, are they still live? Since any live right now? Yeah, they usually go to about 3.15. Oh, good for them. Sorry about good that. Them. Um, well, I'll hand off the liability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am, uh, I'm going to have to go do some squats now after this. This weekend, we're going to be doing a deep dive just on Telegram, TonCoin in general. Yep. Nick, we need to gut Ton. We need to, we get, need to, we we need need to get, get that stuff. In yep. there. Uh, I think that S-Ton.5, yep. the swaps on yep. it, extremely bullish on I, that. I fine. went in for about two hours last night and about an hour this morning, and I think I am literally just scratching the surface. Really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. I think it's real deep, and because no one's in that ecosystem, really, and... They've been putting forward small technologies or small updates here and there that just technology just uh, parabolic movement. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. 
I like well, it. Well, it's been a great day. We it's invented a day. word. Uh, Hanama. <laughs> Sorry about that, Hannah. Uh, uh, there's no show tomorrow. But there Wait will a minute. Be there's no show evening. tomorrow? We're going to the range. We're going to the gun store. Yeah, that's We're going to do a show tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. But it won't be in the afternoon. Okay, fair Wait, enough. Are we pew pewing or just bye bye? Bye bye. Pew pew is in is two weeks from now. Okay, yeah. I'm down to pew pew. We're yes. gonna go pew pewing. Um, yeah, I've kind of upgraded my. Just so everyone knows, I am in the season where I've upgraded my EDC. It does nice. now once again include the AR. Nice. It includes yes. all the all the goods. Probably when it gets closer to the election, I'll also be packing my NBC setup with me everywhere I go. It's gonna be. A pain in the ass, but it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So um, there it is. Do I only train legs? I, I don't know. I mean, I did <laughs> deadlifts. I, 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 most of my weight's gone to my legs. That's I'm, bullish. Yeah, I'm 245 bullish. pounds now. Yeah. Uh, still pretty skinny. So. 45 of that is biceps. So true. So true. Um, appreciate it. Uh, this is a full house today. You know what I mean? I Full house today. Appreciate it. BJ, Hannah, yeah. Hit the Nick, like button on your way out. Morel with all the ton mm. coin alpha. This is, where it's, alpha. this is where it's all about. Appreciate Dude. every single one of you guys. Hit the likes on your way out. We're going to go join uh, whoever we're going to rob. Uh, not rob, raid. <laughs> you rob is said on what? Pew, pew. Rob is on Sin yeah. City. End the show. Just, right. just end Get the out of here. Bye. Peace out. Goodbye. <laughs>